Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. I am Aubrey Stone, um, Vice President of CyberTools Incorporated. Uh, we are a managed service IT provider. Um, if you are watching this video today, you are likely uh, an employee of a business that we manage IT for. Um, we are finding a need in these um, difficult times with the COVID-19 crisis in America um, and most importantly the business crisis that we have now in America where um, we are quickly trying to move our workforce home to work remotely. Um, we are finding it very important that we communicate with our clients and their employees about how to secure the home networks of um, the employees that are working from home. Uh, unfortunately right now we have seen quite an uptick in cyber criminal activity. Um, the cyber criminals are using this situation to uh, for their advantage. They are trying to gain access to data uh, networks, um, ransom data for, uh, for businesses, and just do whatever they can to gain an advantage. And during this emotional and kind of hectic and frantic time where we're getting our employees um, out of the office and into their homes in a quick manner, um, they are really preying on this situation. Um, so CyberTools is doing everything we can to maintain our economy, keep our fellow businesses productive and secure during this time. Um, and this video, this video is one of the ways we feel we can help with this. Uh, I ask for a little grace in, in providing these videos. This is more of my children's forte than it is mine. Uh, but I, I feel so strongly about getting this information out to you and your employees that um, I feel like I, I just have to do this. So um, please give me a little grace. Uh, today, this video, we're going to be delivering videos um, throughout the next few days and maybe longer, uh, all aimed at keeping our networks secure and our data protected during the work from home scenarios. Uh, now that we have employees with devices at their homes, uh, remoting in in various ways to get to the data at the office and work, we really need to do a push to make sure the networks of the employees are protected. So one of the number one ways and the first way we're going to talk about today to do that is to protect the wireless network of the home. Um, so your Wi also often referred to as your Wi-Fi. So your wireless network is provided a couple of ways. One by your internet provider's modem um, that you have, or may, perhaps you have purchased a router or another type of wireless device and brought that into your network to provide a wireless connection. A wireless connection is the way that we have computers, smartphones, and other devices connecting to the internet without a physical connection to the wall or um, as what we call a network jack. Um, this is any person within range of your wireless device can gain access to that device and then therefore to the network and then therefore to the device that you are using to log into the business if that network is not protected in some way. Um, and the number one way that we can protect that network is to change the default password and the default name to our wireless device or our modem or our router um, to the device that is providing the wireless access. Um, we call it a wireless access point. It may be your modem, it may be that router. Um, that is the device that we need to make sure we change the default password and the default name too. Um, a lot of these devices are sent from the manufacturer with these defaults, passwords, and names that can easily be searched on the internet. Anybody can um, get a hold of those passwords and those devices. So um, we strongly urge all business owners to require their employees to change the default passwords. Um, and names of the wireless access points or wireless devices that they are using at their homes. Uh, this is the number one way we can protect against somebody gaining access to the business data that is being um, accessed at the homes. Um, also, another important thing to remember is that 
There are other devices that are connecting wirelessly to your home. We used to have just computers, but now we have you know, smart TVs and baby monitors and thermostats and um, lights and all kinds of devices that can connect wirelessly. Those also are a gateway into your network should they have a default password and default name attached to them. So we are strongly urging all of you to change your um, the default passwords and default names of all of these devices. Um, and another important thing we need to do is to make sure that each employee that is using a home device to connect to um, their business, their place of work, and get access to data has an antivirus protection um, on their device and that it is up to date with the latest security definitions and patches. Um, that is very important in making sure that you don't have some sort of a malware on your home device that could gain um, that could allow a cyber criminal to gain access to whatever you're working with on that device. And in this case, what we're most worried about is keeping the data of the business you work for secure um, so that it cannot be accessed by cyber criminals. So I appreciate you taking the time to listen. If you do have any questions about this, you're not sure how to, you know, the best uh, resource that you could use to change your password for these devices is, you know, Google it, try try going online and searching for some information about it. Um, you can contact the vendor of the device that you're using to hand out pass uh, Wi-Fi. Um, you know, if all, in all, if all else fails and you're unable to do this on your own, please call our office 253-875-3777. We'd be happy to help out with this. Um, but we do want to make sure that you get those changed uh, immediately and that we do our best to secure the networks. We will be sending more information about securing your home network. There are a lot of things to consider and we will be sending information about how cyber criminals are trying to gain access to business data um, in these short little video clips over the next few days. So please, if you receive this in your inbox, um, take the time to listen. It, it could help protect your business and keep it productive and secure during this time, therefore securing all of our jobs. Um, thank you and have a good day.